Hi everyone, long time no see. Um, I have not posted a video in ages um, just because I've not really been feeling up to it and the weather's not been very good so the lighting for filming's not been that good. Um, but I am planning to do more in the future, um, at least once a month, um, maybe even once a week, I don't know, depends how it goes but look out for more videos because I've got some plans for doing more so yay! So now to get on to the proper point of this video, um, I've been working on a few things but one of the things I've been working on is this figure here and this is a Springer Spaniel, um, specifically Meg which is my dog and uh, it was really fun to make. Uh, I, I've been making, well I've made a dog before and I just love making animals um, because, I, I don't know, I really like making realistic things. Um, so what I did is I made a wire frame and then built around it with clay in the shape of a dog and I actually did it in pink clay because all my good clays like my whites and my, I don't know, all the, just most of my colours, um, they've dried up and gone all crumbly which is really rubbish so I just did it in pink clay and painted it afterwards. So yeah I made up the shape of the dog and then for the fur I put on more clay and used a toothpick and just made the fur lines I guess. And I made a little tuft <laughs> because um, my dog has got a cute little afro tuft thing and it's really curly like well like my hair I've got really curly hair. Um, so yeah it's really cute. And this collar was done with air dry clay that I got for my birthday and I've never used air dry clay before so it's really interesting to use that but it's a lot harder to work with than polymer clay because um, with polymer clay you can roll it around your hands and condition it for ages and it won't crumble or do anything to it but um, with the air dry clay um, if you roll it around in your fingers um, it crumbles so you have to be quite quick in using it, which is okay because I was only doing a collar. So I painted it red and then made a little tag, a little gold bone tag out of polymer clay and then stuck it on and then painted it gold. So yeah, um, also no, the thing, one thing I would have changed about it though is her eyes, <laughs> don't know if you can see them very well. Um, they're kind of creepy. <laughs> um, Meg, my dog, has really nice eyes and they're really pretty, but uh, these are kind of scary. But that's okay because it's not really the main part of the dog. So yeah, if I could change it, I'd probably do the eyes, but eh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> and it's got little freckles because she's got little freckles. So yeah, I'll just show it all around. And it's got a little, oh, whoops, <laughs> um, it's got a little pink belly as well, <laughs> and it's got spots, uh, my dog has three spots, so I tried to do it like that, and that's pretty much it, uh, I'll probably film again if I've forgotten anything, but I think that's pretty much it, so I'll post some pictures at the end, and thanks for watching, <laughs> bye!